page one of the Mueller report. What does it say? The Russian government interfered in the 2016 presidential election in sweeping and systematic fashion. The last thing Mr. Mueller said today was this. And I will close by reiterating the central allegation of our indictments that there were multiple systematic efforts to interfere in our election. And that allegation deserves the attention of every American. But it ain't getting it. Hacking capabilities, only getting better. Social media propaganda, Psst, bad guys are clearly ahead of the platform's ability and willingness to stop them. Election infrastructure, still vulnerable. Happened in 2016, and the experts say it'll happen in 2020, more sophisticated even. Russia learned what worked, what didn't. POTUS refuses to recognize this reality with denials like this. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. He's strong and powerful, all right, over your sense of perspective on this. Man, was that embarrassing. Fact, former DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen tried to make hardening the election a priority. Then she was shown the door. She was told not to even bring it up in front of POTUS. DNI Dan Coates, the Director of National Intelligence, he released a worldwide threat assessment. The first topic before weapons of mass destruction, cyber threats. And it says Russia is already looking to 2020 and developing new tactics to influence the election. And now Mr. Mueller centers it for you today. Look, it matters what Congress decides to do about the president's arguable abuses of power. Of course it does. But they're missing a bigger concern and ignoring something that is a certainty. No allegations, no maybes, no proof, but not beyond a reasonable doubt. This is 100 percent. Russian came for us. Russia did. And they're coming again. And we ain't ready. And unlike the president's son-in-law, who says the investigation hurt American democracy more than Russia did, no one who knows a damn thing about anything to do with securing our country or our elections thinks that Russian interference is a small deal. Mueller knew what you wanted to hear, but he ended by mentioning this problem. Remember that. Now, as for the president. As you just saw, or I reminded you, he would rather embarrass this country on a world stage and all but congratulate Mr. Putin for his efforts, but he's making a mistake. Not just on the facts, but his feelings. He thinks denying Russian interference is good for him, but he's not seeing it right. If they do it again and get better and get at the votes this time, God forbid, and they help him win again, and he wins, well, how can that result be accepted? People know it was interference and played with, and this time they get to the votes. People think this president ignores interference because he thinks the Russians will help him and it's good for him. They're wrong. If we know it is happening and there's any proof of actual interference with votes, which is clearly their goal, the concern should not be this president refusing to leave office if he loses. It should be a country that refuses to recognize his right to stay if he wins. Think about it. A president who is focused on his self-interests should be worried about what the Russians do next. And he isn't. Any way you look at it, on a day filled with confusing, conflicting thoughts and double and triple negatives about what Mueller was not allowed to do and what he didn't say about what he would do if he didn't have to, this was positively clear. Russia interfered. They're going to do it again. And seeing how effectively their efforts put us at each other's throats, they have every incentive to go bigger than ever.